Hey guys, Justin at the Skiff Shop, here to give you a little insight about our Allcraft 2000. We have this whaler that we've been working on for the past couple weeks. We got all the body work done, sprayed a nice high build primer on it, got that sanded down, blocked out real nice, sprayed it off with some 545 finished primer, got that sanded down, blocked out. Here we have some All Craft 2000 that we mix up right here. It's a two, two to one ratio, so two parts paint to one part converter. And if you want it thinner, there's also a reducer. You can reduce it up to 25% width. But usually this is nice and thin to where you want it already. And you put a nice coat. We like to start off with a single base coat on there. Then we go from there, we're gonna put three coats on there. We're here in Florida, so we usually wait about 45 minutes to an hour between coat times. You know. Uh, usually try to base it off 75 degrees. Anything from there, you go more time. You wait between coats. The cooler it is, the more time you wanna wait between coats. You really wanna tack off. If you don't wait long enough between coats, the uh, paint likes to get porosity in it, which are fine little bubbles from the paint trying to kick off. And it has a layer of paint on top of it, so you'll see it break through. The bubbles will break through each layer if you don't have enough time and let the coat before that you're spraying tack off. So usually we like to spray over 320. It blends in real nice with the paint. Anything more than that, 220, 120, when you put that first coat on, you'll see the paint really sink into those scratches. So 320 to 400 is a really good grit to spray over. So we have the gun set up already for the PPS system. Um, when we hook it up to air, you hold it upside down like this, squeeze the trigger, you'll see the bag suck up and you'll actually see paint starting to shoot out. You want to do that before, that way when you're shooting, got the gun moving around everywhere and it comes to an air bubble, you splatter on the paint. You don't want that. Um, we like to have a nice fan set up. Nothing too big. Um, depends on where you are shooting at to how big you want the fan. Usually we give a nice length. That's about the distance you want from the part that you're spraying. And then that's about the fan that you want. So every time you go over with a pass, I like to start from where I started from, come back and you do a nice 50-50 layer. So say you spray right here, you come back, you have 50% of that spray on that layer like that. We got a 1-4 tip on here, which is usually a nice tip to spray some paint with. We also have, on the end of our airline, we have a, uh, a pressure gauge. We usually keep it around 25 to 30 PSI is a good seals up everything nice and blends in. The second coat we'll put on will be nice and thick. After that, we'll finish off with the finished coat. That'll be nice and thin and hopefully we'll lay out real nice. Thanks.